Technology has a great capability to engage and empower uh, all of us. And uh, we are seeing so many interesting interfaces that are being developed, such as uh, ones that require physical gestures and uh, involving the whole body. So what happens here is that children and individuals are fully engaged in the experience where they are able to use their body, <laughs> gracias, <laughs> to use their body and their gestures as part of the experience. And so you end up trying to engage in, in fully, uh, which with haptic senses and gesture-based uh, input, which is which brings the engagement level up of all of us. So trying to do this for education is really the challenge and bringing that into um, in, into our space of uh, thinking about cognition, thinking about body cognition or what some learning theorists talk about as embodied cognition is a very interesting trend. Uh, it brings interactivity with gesture-based data. And we see this with the Xbox, we see this uh, with some of the smart technologies that are, that are coming our way with the sensor-based technologies uh, that we're speaking of. And I think this has amazing potential for uh, not only uh, to, to engage us, but also to learn about our own learning processes related to physical activity, related to cognitive activity, um, and we can empower uh, children to, you know, use their entire body, use their spaces, use interactivity uh, to be able to get, have interesting experiences that help their learning process. This is a whole other level of contextualization um, that we need, as learning technologists, we need to learn to design for. The, the spaces amongst um, uh, the interactions that can happen are very, very intriguing. For example, um, children with attention problems who need to continually move around the classroom, who need to engage, um, who have difficulty attending to particular uh, routine content and need some sense of novelty and some sense of, of uh, information stimulation. This type of environment used not just for entertainment and commercial purposes, but geared towards learning, geared towards uh, physical activity, uh, is, is, is a very interesting space for learning technologists to design for. And I, I think all of these technologies, from uh, the, the creative construction of new materials, to uh, robotics for children, to uh, sensor systems, and to interactive visual games, um, have, have much potential, not only for us as learning technologists, but for the children to become designers, for the children to, uh, to create their own environments as well. And that creative construction and play that is so important to all of our our education.